Okay, today I'm going to show you how uh, I built my own GoPro uh, handle mount so I can uh, have an extension for my arm and be able to throw it into the water or even above me at a higher angle, stuff along those lines. Um, what you need, obviously a screw and a, and a wing nut. It's a stainless steel screw. Uh, I think it's 11 30 seconds in size and about an inch and a half, two inches long. Um, I bought myself a piece of three-quarter inch uh, PVC pipe and it's about five feet long Phillips head screwdriver and of course your your mount for your GoPro drill drill bit 11 30 seconds same size as a screw that way it's a nice tight fit and I actually also uh, put some rope at the end for, for a handle so what I'm gonna do is just show you what I did first thing I did is I uh, took my screw I had to put this in like this and what I did is I uh, took them out and measured it to where it would be with a with a ruler that way I would have a rough estimate of where the hole was and then I just took my my drill drilled straight through came out I mean it's pretty simple I actually got a nice tight fit that's why I chose uh, Three quarter inch. You can take your mount into Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you decide to get the PVC pipe, and you can actually just put it right into here. That way, you can make sure you get a nice tight fit. I had a good tight fit, so I didn't have much to do afterwards. Um, once I get it in there, you sit there and you just put your screw in. You see, it's really tight, which is what I wanted because I don't want a lot of play in that. So I just screw it in go all the way through and as you get through to the other side you can take your wing nut and you can throw that on there as well you can see it's still coming through so you just go through keep screwing it in obviously if you want you can use your your cordless drill uh, to get that to go through but I mean it's, it's really simple to go through it's not hard so you just get it in there and as you get it nice and tight and take your wing nut and put your wing nut on it that in there obviously your wing nut and your screw like I said should be stainless steel nice tight fit you hold the screw and uh, just tighten tighten it up and you got a nice tight fit so it's doesn't move doesn't do anything um, I did the same thing on the other side I just actually just found some rope I uh, drilled the hole it's a little bigger right there tied it off and burnt the ends. Be very careful when you're burning the ends. I don't want you to get burned or anything like that. If you're a kid, make sure you get help with your from your parents and stuff like that. That way, what I can do is I can just go like this and hang on it. That way, if I drop it, it still lands on my wrist, stuff along those lines. What I'm probably going to do is eventually, what I'll do is I'll get some spray foam and I'll spray some foam in the end. That way, if for some reason it does fall off my hand and falls into the water, that foam is gonna keep this buoyant so it can come up so you're not losing your $300 to $400 GoPro. And all I did is I took some black paint. I didn't get the, the best paint, but I took some black paint to, to kind of paint it from being completely white. You can keep it white if you want, but I did paint it. You can see the paint comes off, but it does work quite well. What I'm gonna show you next is I'll uh, show you um, I'll put the camera on it and show you what it looks like.
And there you go there's the finished product um, as you saw I did a couple of videos of, of what it looks like uh, when the camera's mounted on the pole you can put it that way or you can have it facing towards you like I showed and uh, you see how long it is like I said I'm, I got five foot you can make it as long as you want but that's uh, kind of what the finished product looks like I hope you enjoy it if you have any comments uh, feel free to leave them thanks